Hey friends, Noah from Corporate Streams. Today we're gonna to be talking about a newly announced outdoor PTZ camera from Canon, the CRX500. Be seen, heard, and better understood through virtual gatherings. Elevate your message with Corporate Streams. So this is an announcement video. We're gonna go ahead and talk through all of the specs and a little bit of thought about what this camera is and what it's gonna be used for. I also have a separate video comparing the N300 and the N500. So if you wanna check that out, you can see that on my channel as well. But let's go ahead and dive in. The first note is this is a $22,000 camera. Why? Well, it's weather sealed, it's weatherproof, it's designed to be outdoors. Even though it's probably still suggested that you keep this covered and safe, this camera can be in the weather and in different elements. So that's a huge thing, a huge plus of this camera. It does only come in titanium white. It does not come in the black model. And again, it's $22,000 price tag, screams professional and gear. It does have a one inch CMOS sensor with dual autofocus. It has a 12G SD SDI output and SDI gin lock. It has a built-in lens wiper and auxiliary expansion support, a built-in ND filter of a quarter, a 16th, and a 64, RS-22 and Canon NU serial control. It can capture ultra high definition at 4K or 1080p. It is IP55 rated with a dust and water resistant housing. It has a 15 times optical zoom and a 30 times advanced HD zoom or digital zoom. And it also has a Canon Digic DV6 processor. It's compatible with the Canon PTZ controller as well. All right, so that's the highlights from the top. We're gonna work our way down the page to image sensor now. Again, that's a one inch CMOS sensor. Its actual resolution is 13.4 megapixels and its effective is 8.29 or 4K. Its gain range is between zero and 33 dB and its minimum illumination is three lux at 1 60th of a second. Its shutter speed can go as low as a third of a second or as high as 1 1,000th of a second. Its max digital zoom is 30 times in HD mode. Its built-in ND filter is mechanical and it uses a filter wheel with a clear two-stop, four-stop, and six-stop ND filters. Its lens is a 15 times optical zoom with a focal length of 8.3 to 124 0.5 millimeters, which is the 35 millimeter equivalent focal length of 25.5 to 382.5 millimeters. Its field of view is horizontally 5.7 degrees to 73 degrees or vertically 3.2 to 45 degrees. And its maximum aperture is 2.8 to 4.5. Now I will note, like I did in all the other videos, that when a range is listed as an aperture, it means on the widest, you'll get the lowest number, which is a 2.8. And then as you zoom in, that will go into a 4.5 because it's harder for a lens to produce light when you're zoomed in like that. So if you see a f-stop range, it's because of that. Typically, we prefer lenses that have a through stop or an f-stop that is consistent throughout that zoom range. This camera does not produce that, which is kind of shocking to me for the price point, but hey, I'm probably not in the market of buying one of these $22,000 cameras. So if you are and this doesn't bother you, let me know. Or maybe it is one of those things that bothers you like it bothers me. Let me know in the comments below. It does have optical stabilization, autofocus, and manual focus. The video output is either NTSC or PAL, and it does do SDI up to 4K at 59.94. It could also do 1080p at 2398, 25, 2997, 50, and 59.94 frames per second. It has 1080p interlaced at 50 frames and 59.94, and it could also do 720p at 50, and 59.94 frames per second. The control preset is 100, and its movement speed can be as slow as 0.5 degrees per second, or as fast as 25 degrees per second. Its tilt speed can be as slow as 0.3 degrees a second, or up to 20 degrees a second. And its movement range for the pan is 340 degrees, or negative 170 to plus 170 degrees. Its tilt can do about 80 degrees, which is negative 50 to 30 degrees. And the two supported control protocols are NU and RS422. For interfaces, it has a BNC 12G SDI, even though the B&H website listed this as a 3G, so that is incorrect information, I will reach out to B&H Photo and see if they can have this corrected. The control interface is a nine pin D sub RS22. It has a single BNC gin lock for input or output and it's power support. There's no power over ethernet support for this particular device. And it does have a proprietary power supply. This power supply pulls 90 watts at 10.5 to 15 volts of direct current. And the operating temperature is between five 
and 104 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 15 to 40 degrees Celsius. Its operating and storage humidity is between 10 to 90 percent and it does have an IP rating of 55. Its dimensions are 15.35 by 15.2 by 13.27 inches, 38.99 by 38.6 by 33.71 centimeters excluding protrusions and it weighs a whopping 37.5 pounds or 17 kilograms. So those are the specs of the CRX500. It is a whopping $22,000 outdoor PTZ camera from Canon, and we're excited to see how it works in the field. Thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in the next one.